I have so many friends who have bought the $20 ChatGPT plan and they still end up getting average results because none of them have learned how to actually write a good prompt. Did you know that OpenAI has recently released a really powerful guide on prompt engineering all for free? In fact, you can not only learn this skill for free but also end up winning a MacBook Pro or a PlayStation 5. I'll tell you more about it very soon because right now you need to first improve your skill sets at using these tools. See, there are many kinds of ChatGPT users. Level 1 users prompt ChatGPT to write basic content. Then level 2 users prompt it for research. Level 3 users use it for making basic images. This video right here is to help you get to level 4. a level where your prompts can significantly alter the way you approach your career decisions your life decisions and even creativity and if you don't believe me check out this prompt i want you to uncover the masks i'm wearing the roles i'm playing and the illusions i am believing please guide me through this process by asking me 10 reflective questions one at a time to help me recognize the stories i'm telling myself after i answer these 10 questions Please step into the role of my higher self and analyze my responses, identify the top negative patterns present in my life and the top positive patterns I have to embrace to actually grow. Be direct and truthful. Tough love is welcomed. In the end, send a message from my higher self to celebrate how far I have come to my journey. Now spending just 15 minutes on these 10 questions can help you reflect as much as weekly journaling and this is really really important for your own personal growth as well. Now all of these features will work well if you're on the pro plan and in the settings section you need to make sure that in personalization all of these toggles are on. Now I've been following a very interesting guy his name is Jeffrey Busgang and in his blog he explained that as artificial intelligence takes over more of the what and even the how of what we do on a day to day basis human beings must become experts in the why the most valuable skill for any founder or an agency owner or even a senior manager is not some technical capacity or a coding language or some degree it is sound judgment and strategic thinking prompts like these can help you fast track your learning by almost 10x but this will only work when you have the pro version with the memory settings on did you know that you can now text and even send voice notes to chat gpt on your whatsapp you don't need to download anything you don't need a laptop it is actually as simple as going to whatsapp and texting someone so if you scan this qr code right here you will be able to chat with chat gpt for free with zero cost so let me show you i have open chat gpt on my phone and i will simply send a voice note hi chat gpt कैन यू टेल मी कि अभी हमारे कंट्री में इन इंडिया ए आई के अराउंड कौन कौन सी अनाउंसमेंट्स हुई है सो एज सुन एज आई सेंड द वॉइस नोट चैट जी पी टी विल लिसन टू द वॉइस नोट डू द इंटायर सर्च क्रिएट अ मैसेज एंड सेंड इट टू मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप इट इज एज सिमल एज दैट सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव रिसीव माई मैसेज इट इज रिटर्न इन हिंदी इट इज क्लियरली फॉर्मेटेड एंड दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली यूजफुल फॉर एनी बडी हु इज अ नॉन टेक्निकल पर्सन Now this is especially great for our parents and grandparents who don't usually use laptops or browse the internet either through AI or any other tool. Now let me show you another prompt that will convert your diplomatic sweet chat GPT into a brutally honest mentor that you always wanted but were too afraid to seek advice from. So I can either start a new conversation and run this prompt here or I can simply go to my settings panel and simply go to personalization click on custom instructions and paste this trait right here now let me show you how this works so this is the prompt from now on you need to enter an absolute mode eliminate emojis fillers hype statements soft ask conversational transitions and all call to action appendices assume the user is a sharp listener prioritize blunt and direct advice the only goal is to assist in high fidelity and high agency thinking now the fun part here is that if you're trying to build a tech app or if you want validation around any of the products that you've been working on especially in tech you can watch our tutorial on vibe coding and actually come up with internal tools and prototypes and mobile app prototypes like so many things using vibe coding get validation from chat gpt 40 and actually start creating products for your customers and the best part is that you can win a macbook pro or playstation 5 or an airpods pro max by learning the basics of prompting creativity and vibe coding so over the last 5 years 
I have upskilled myself through multiple tech events and hackathons like Stanford's Tree Hacks, Hack MIT, and Hack Howard. You can do something very, very similar without leaving your house. So if you're an aspiring web developer or a Vibe coder, you can participate in the new Level Up Vibe Coding Hackathon hosted by Outlier AI. This is open to anyone who is 18 years of age or over wherever you are, except that some rules that have been in the description. And you have to choose any live website replicated pixel perfect in a web app down to your fonts, your colors, spacings, and every UI element, then created with some new features like an AI powered search or some custom animations or interactive data visualizations. Basically, you have to improve on whatever you have prompted and you can submit your work by Sunday, May 4th at 11.59 p.m. And winners will be announced after Thursday, May 8th. The top three people will get a MacBook Pro, a PlayStation 5 and the AirPods Pro Max. Top submissions will also get freelance opportunities as well. To enter, you have to host your page on a free service like either Vercel or GitHub pages so that the judges can actually see it and then fill out the form in the description. You can submit up to five different sites. So the chances of you winning are a lot. All details are shared on the link in description. So as I'd mentioned at the beginning, OpenAI has released an official documentation around prompt engineering that has a ton of tips. But in general, instead of going through the entire thing, I will share the link in description. You need to understand that good prompting is all about setting context. And there are some first principles that you need to know about. Number one is that you need to be clear about what you want. Vague prompts will always give vague results. Then motivate AI to think in steps and frameworks and in the end request chat GPT to reflect on its answers. The real skill is in combining your own human intelligence with chat GPT's intelligence. And this blog right here has so many interesting tips and concepts that you will absolutely love it. So you don't have to invest in like a very fancy prompting course, especially if you want to specialize in OpenAI products. In fact, very few people know about OpenAI Cookbook. So if I go here on cookbook.openai.com, they have so many topics across agents and multimodality and optimization. And if I click on agents, you can actually learn so much about OpenAI agentic workflows written by people who are actually in the system. And apart from agents, the latest image generation in Foro has been creating insane results all over the internet. Now, obviously these images cannot replace an actual designer, but they can save hours in conceptualization and mood boarding. So let me show you a basic structure of the prompt for generating something like this. Here is the prompt. Create a promotional poster for the Apple AirPods Pro. Use a low lighting setting where the product is the main focus with the spotlight shining down on the AirPods. The background should be dark with soft shadows around the product. Add the text AirPods Pro in bold white letters at the top and include the subtext for people on the go in medium below it. Ensure the overall look is sleek, modern and professional with a minimalist high quality finish and the product's design is exactly identical. Now, if you look at this closely, you'll understand that ChatGPT 40 does really, really well when you upload a reference and your own product and you go really deep into the color scheme and the text. And if you have a personal product, all you need to do is add the image of your product simply with your own phone and then enter the same prompt with any reference that you want. It could be from Apple or it could be from your competitors. And there are multiple things you can do with ChatGPT's image gen. You can generate 3D renders of products and logos, change the texture or the material of any object you upload. I'll share a detailed prompt for all of these things in the description of this video. Because people have used this feature to create hyper-realistic macro photographs of objects like veins and pencils and eyes and bees and flowers and everything has been so so well made. In fact, ChatGPT can help you set your priorities in life as well and this can be a game changer for students because sometimes your to-do list is so full that you do not know where to start. So what you can do is enter your to-do list on ChatGPT and ask it to give you a proper schedule and actually help you understand what really matters with your long-term goals. And this can work for multiple situations even beyond text. For example, if you need to clean your room or organize your cupboard, you can just take a picture of your cupboard or your fridge or your bedroom, upload it to ChatGPT and ask it for a step-by-step -step guide on which area to focus on first. So if I prompt, this is a picture of my room, it's currently very messy and in need of cleaning. 
can you give me a timed plan to organize my room so i can complete this within an hour chat gpt 4 will analyze the image find problematic areas and suggest how to start organizing it and one very important thing for all of you is that when i go to chat gpt 4 This O actually stands for Omni, which basically means that it can see, it can read, it can listen, and it can not only watch images but actually think in images as well. So you can actually have AI not only see what's happening but also take decisions on the basis of what it is watching as well. And the entire internet, especially Twitter, is spread out. with all these images of people who are trying to fool KYC systems they are making passport images using chat gpt people are uploading the pictures of their palms and asking chat gpt to do like a palmistry reading and it's insane how comfortable people are getting using chat gpt for their day to day life and decision making and after a point once you have operator and the voice mode and they would start speaking into your own languages it would be so interesting to see how humans work with this We had recently uploaded a video on Google Notebook LM which is a tool that basically helps you convert a, like a really long PDF into a conversation. They just announced multiple languages support so now you can learn in Hindi, Tamil, Telugu and this makes learning extremely accessible. In our video on the World Economic Forum's report, we kind of spoke about all the skills that will become relevant in the longer run and skills that will get outdated. and one of the most important skills is your ability to have right judgment is your ability to understand what is happening in the world and what is the best decision that you need to take understanding your scheduling understanding your resources and actually evolving as these tools evolve with you so my recommendation to every single person watching this video is to spend some time innovating the way you write your prompts do not restrict yourself to just making images and just sort of creating some text or emailing and just improving your essays because you are only scratching the surface using the power of chat gpt to actually get insights on your personality on your behavior on your blind spots can be almost like having a really really successful mentor having a close look at your life in fact my last prompt to you if you've been using the chat gpt pro plan is to go to the conversation and say generate a sketch of me assuming everything that you know about me from this conversation and see what chat gpt thinks about you and you will be shocked to see that it is doing a great job at estimating how you look what kind of dressing style you have where are you sitting and your overall personality in fact let me know in the comment section if you've ever tried video calling chat gpt as well because if i open my app right now and click on the bottom right corner there's a video icon on the bottom left that you can actually select to have a video call with chat gpt let me know in the comment section if this video taught you something new let me know if there is any other interesting topics that you would want us to cover i hope that you're taking care of your mind and body this is your dost ansh mehra and you are learning from the cutting edge school If you enjoyed this video then do check out this video of the same series I am sure that it will help you even more